Hey guys, it's me again. Today, I'm going to be bringing you guys the first part of my individual series where I cover each manga from my top 10 manga video individually just to give them more time so that way I don't have to just rush it together and make it a long top 10 video like I had done originally. So, I explained it all in my video yesterday. If you want to hear more of an explanation on why I'm doing this, just check that out. And then also, before we get started on this, I want to let you guys know that I do still have that manga giveaway going on for probably about a week more. It's ending sometime next week. Basically, you win whatever, whoever wins gets one manga of their choice from Amazon. So if you want to enter that, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, go over to the video that I have linked in the description for the giveaway, and then like that video and then comment either an interesting video idea or an interesting question, as well as a unique number that someone else has not picked. Now, like I said, it will be ending sometime next week, so make sure you enter while you still can. But, anyway, so, starting off this series, we are obviously starting with my 10th favorite manga of all time, and that is Yuru Camp. Now, I know the, it says Laidback Camp on there. Well, I started this series with the anime, and the anime was called Yuru Camp, so I'm calling it Yuru Camp. Plus, that saves me like one second in saying the name, so one second, while it seems like a little, does that after a while. Not, not by much, but you know, it's enough. So yeah, Yuru Camp. Basically, it's it's a it's my first ever healing anime or manga, and I think it might be one of my only ones I've ever read or watched. And basically, that means nothing ever goes wrong in it. So y you can watch this or read this, and you know you're not gonna get stressed out at all. Nothing is gonna give you any anxiety. You're not gonna get mad because something happened. Y you don't have to worry about anything. It's all just peaceful. Nothing bad happens ever. So. That's pretty cool, and that's actually really fitting for a camping-based series, because, you know, camping's supposed to be a pretty relaxed thing, and, you know, that fits the series very well. And also, by now you can probably tell that this series is about camping, yes. It follows, for the most part, th these two girls right here are the main two girls. You've got Rinshima and uh, Nadeshko, whose name I don't, her last name I don't remember, and they are the two main characters. And basically, Rin right here goes solo camping, which is camping by yourself a lot. And then one day, she happens to run into this girl here, the pink-haired one named Nadeshko. And eventually, um, well, she helps her out because she's passed out on a park bench at midnight. And, you know, that's not too good, so she kind of helps her out. And then, um, <clears throat> slowly but surely, they start to form a friendship because... After that time, they don't meet for a while, and then they realize they go to the same school, and Nadeshko finds Rin again, and then they become friends, and then they start camping together, and they there's actually a club at their school that Rin doesn't want to join, but it's an outdoors club, so Nadeshko, of course, joins that because thanks to Rin, she's now obsessed with camping, and, you know, then they all start to go camping together, and it's all cool, it's all fun, and... I did mention that this has an anime. The anime only has one season with, I think, 12 episodes, I believe. Um, the manga, I think, goes past where the anime went by now. So, who knows? Maybe if we're lucky, we'll get a season two. I think season one came out a couple years ago, so I guess uh, season two isn't too far-fetched. So, who knows? We can hold out for that. I know my friend Austin and I are. Uh, he, he was actually saying one time that he wanted to get the DVDs, but he decided not to because he was going to wait for season two because he's so convinced there will be one, so... Hopefully he's right in saying that. And, yeah, I remember this was the second anime that I binge-watched from beginning to end with no breaks. And that was at his house that I did that. And I mentioned that yesterday in my top 10 overview video. And, you know, that wasn't even really difficult. Because for the most part, I'm not the kind of person who can just sit there and binge-watch a show from beginning to end without getting bored. But with this, you know, it's peaceful, it's relaxing... So I, I, and it was, it's interesting too, so I had no problem doing that. And, you know, I actually, this series has been a big part of my life just because, it's because of this series that I go camping. I, I used to never really go camping just because I never really thought of it. But thanks to this series, I have a five-person tent. I have a mummy winter sleeping bag that can withstand up to, down to 10 degrees. I have a camping stove. I have fuel for that. I have a cooking set, and probably a few other things that I'm forgetting. And I go camping a decent amount with my friends, and yeah, it's a lot of fun. I 
my friends and I really enjoy it. We've had tons of fun doing that. <clears throat> One thing I typically do is I'll even bring my computer, my laptop, as well as some anime DVDs and we'll watch anime out there. And one idea I had is I want to get the DVD of this, so that way we can watch Yuru Camp while we're camping. So, I'm working on that, and eventually I'll get to do that. And, yeah, because that sounds like a lot of fun, watching an anime about camping while camping. That sounds pretty good. And, yeah, if you guys have never camped, definitely try it. I know a lot of people feel like they wouldn't like being outside that long or sleeping outside, but trust me, it's really fun. It's, a, it's really cool. And I haven't even been to an official campsite, I've just done it in a couple backyards. In my friend's grandparents' backyard and my grandparents' backyard. And Well, granted, <clears throat> my grandparents actually have woods that we camped in, so I kind of know what that's like. So, yeah, definitely try camping if you haven't. And if you have tried it, try it again, because it's just that fun. But yeah, this series, I, this series actually isn't over, the manga isn't. I know there's a Volume 7 coming out sometime this year. Uh... I think it, I know it's sometime between this month and November, so that's a that's a bit of a broad time period there that that could be coming out in. But sometime between now and September, it will have a volume seven, and then I'd assume a volume eight, just because I don't know they could really carry this thing on for as long as they wanted, as as long as they keep thinking of things to do. Because with something like this, this is a series where you can eventually kind of repeat things that have already happened without it being really annoying because camping you do do the same things over and over again at times so you know it's not too hard to believe that they would be doing the same things again so this series could go on for a pretty long time i feel like if done right and they seem to be doing it right so hopefully we'll have this series coming out with volumes for years to come and who knows maybe we'll even get that season two that my friend austin and i are holding up for but anyway this is my my 10th favorite manga, Yuru Camp. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you haven't checked this series out, definitely do. It's a really fun one. I really liked it. And if you guys read it, I'm sure you will too. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I will see you guys next time.